Welcome to my project ideas. This is an ongoing series on chat GPT. And in this video, we'll learn how to create a basic Angular JS project using chat GPT. So like any other programming language, Angular JS also requires some prerequisite installations. So those installation steps you can ask directly from chat GPT. So we have done the same. We have asked chat GPT to uh, tell us how exactly we can do Windows setup for Angular JS development. And it has given some steps. So it asked us to install Node.js first. So Node.js is available on this particular link. And then it asked us to install a core editor. It can be anything else. So we have something called Notepad++. So you can even use Notepad. You can use uh, Visual Studio Code. Certainly, if you're going for a full length project, something like a project for office or your own uh, college level projects. So you need a good level of you know, editor. So in that case, I will suggest to have Visual Studio Code. And, but in this particular video, we'll be opening up a notepad, that's it. So we can even do that uh, programming in that particular notepad also. So that's something we want to show. Once you're done with that part, you need to open up your command prompt and just write this statement, something like this. So this document we have prepared for you. So I will be sharing the link in the description of the video. And uh, you can see that we have the steps like npm installed uh, uh, minus Z for global and then angular slash CLI. And in this way, you can install the Angular in your Windows. So we'll just copy this line of code and go back to our folder, Angular, where we want to have uh, our project generated. Write CMD and just copy and paste the code here. And wait for the project to be created. It takes a few moments. And then it might come back with some questions so that if uh, do you want to have a, you know integration of privacy policy and you know, all to share uh, users data certainly not we will not share any data with google routing is a concept that is used to navigate between pages Certainly for bigger project, we'll need that. And uh, style sheet, certainly I will prefer to have CSS. And with these questions, based on our answers, it generates a folder or package of it, uh, the entire component. And it takes a few moment, depending upon the speed of your laptop. So we'll wait until uh, this process ends. So while this process runs, we'll just uh, cross check our next steps. So in the initial part, we have to just, uh, you know, open up uh, this project. So, and then call this command to run the server. So this particular node project or Angular project runs on a server of a node. So how exactly this thing uh, happens in the background is that whenever you create a project, you deploy the project and that project needs runtime environment of Node.js and same thing happens with uh, React also. But these projects can be built into executable files so that in the end you get something in the form of HTML, CSS and JavaScript. Something you might be creating using a HTML, CSS and JavaScript where you don't need a Node server running in the background. But for our use case, as of now, we need to have this Node server. Okay, so the Angular is installed now. So we'll go back to the document that we are reading. So the Angular is installed now. The very next step is that we run the server. So for that, we'll write this command and press enter. Okay, so it means we try to run something outside the space. So we need to navigate to our new project. So for that, you just use a simple CD command, in directory command, write to app name, enter inside our app, try to run the server once again. Perfect. So it has started something on localhost 4200. 
So a local host is certainly a simple server that is running on your Windows and that is not available on the internet. That's what, that's what is called local host. And I will just copy and paste this here to see what exactly loads. As of now, nothing is there. But it says my app is running. Perfect. So basic layout and with some documents so that you can learn those steps. So very next thing is in uh, like already mentioned in the document that we need to start editing the files. Perfect. So now we'll go back to chat GPT. Just simply write a question. So like our question was like how exactly we can build a hello world program in AngularJS. So it has mentioned some simple steps. So it says that you have to create AngularJS project. That is done. Then open up the app.compton.ts file in your core editor. So if I see in the source, in the app, so we have found the file app.component.ts file. We have opened it up in notepad plus plus. And the next step is like replace the existing code with the following code. You just copied, pasted it, saved it. Now go back and again run the command ng serve. We have already started the server. So what we need to do is like just go back to the program, refresh it. And that you, then you can see that uh, the hello world is loaded within the browser. Certainly in case they refresh, if it is not working, then you need to stop it. Just press control C like this and just run the ng serve once again. So every time you face some issues like uh, your service is not responding as expected, you can press control C and then restart it using ng serve. And if I go back to the Angular JS program, it explains what exactly code we have written. And you can always ask chat GPT for more explanation. So in this particular use case, we have like uh, loaded a comp component that is the core component of Angular. Within that, we have used something called template and there we have just defined h1 tag of hello world. That's it. And even the name of the application is my app. The same name that you can see here. So that's it for today's video. We'll uh, meet once again for next chat GPT video. Thanks a lot.